Uh, Archie, welcome to Good Day Philadelphia, CEO of Aero Aggregates in Eddystone. Uh, thank you for taking time. I know you're really busy. What is this aggregate? I, I, it looks like rocks to me. Is it human-made rocks? Yeah, so we are, uh, they're manufactured aggregates. Um, and like you said, we manufacture it from recycled glass. So we use the glass that uh, nobody else wants. Uh, we divert it from landfill. We clean it and we put it through a process that foams it, that makes it ultra lightweight to be used on infrastructure projects throughout the country. Wow, well, how, how is it made again? It, 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 it's crushed and then you turn it into rocks? Yeah, so we take a uh, recycled glass cullet, we crush it into a, a very fine powder, we use a recycled mineral as a foaming agent, and the heating process bakes it literally like a cake. It comes out of the heating process as a solid cake, and that temperature drop when it leaves puts thermal stress in the cake and cracks it into inch, ag inch, uh, inch and a half aggregate. Wow. And so they're going to take this and they're going to fill it up. The hole. Right, fill up the hole, and it's going to yeah. be enough to stay in place, and does it like kind of all cement together or no it's just going to be so many of the rocks that's just going to kind of hold it up yes yeah, so the uh the embankment will be about 20 feet high so they'll bring up about 18 feet of the foam glass and then cover that with the road box which will be the pavement to open up 95 and uh kind of the two main reasons we're being used is one is they to bring up 20 feet of regular weight fill would put a lot of stress on underground utilities um, and the other part is this material goes in a lot faster than traditional fill. Uh, it goes in a lot thicker lifts, and it's not affected by any type of weather conditions. So if we get torrential downpours oh. this weekend, that will not stop the installation of this material. Oh, that is good to know. Okay, so you know what you're doing. You do this all over the country. Including across here, like at the airport, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, our largest project to date was uh, the new apron at Philadelphia International we did uh, two years ago. So I guess you weren't surprised when you got the call. So how long will it take to fill up the hole with aggregate? So we're, we're starting this morning. We had trucks come in very early this morning to get loaded to be ready to go. Um, we're working with Buckley and Company to get the material on 95 and stockpiled. They will start the construction of the embankment tomorrow morning. Wow. Um, so the idea is to get ahead of that and then keep feeding them as they bring this, uh, this temporary wall up on each side to, to get it open as so fast as possible. So how soon are your trucks rolling? Will you roll today to 95? Sounds like they already did. Yes, we'll be leaving here around 7.30. They're, they're leaving here. They just got, they're finishing getting loaded up. Um, they're getting an okay. escort. So uh, state police have been working with PennDOT to clear a lane to make sure we have direct access so we can get these trucks back and forward as fast as possible. And right. I know you mentioned the airport. Will this now be your biggest project to date? Um, actually, the airport was our biggest project okay, today. So, this so. is a, a large okay. project, an important project. Yeah, this is just maybe priority-wise, it's our number one project. Oh, that's he's smooth. Yeah, priority-wise, right. mm -hmm. don't uh, we won't uh, sick Jeff Cole on you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Archie. Thank yeah, you. <laughs> and appreciate. It. Thank you. You got it. And it's so interesting because you know we have these discussions about people's last names connecting to what they do. His last name, Phil Schill. Phil. He's gonna fill the hole. And it is spelled with an F. Mm-hmm. Phil Schill. Yeah. Yeah.